I rushed right back here as soon as I came out of the coma in that Siberian hospital. Whew. I've hardly eaten a thing, Mr. Martin. Don't you like my meatloaf? Oh, it's delicious. So, Roy, you don't mind if I ask you what your plans are now that you're alive? Well, um, to be honest, all that's on my mind is getting in touch with the things that I left behind. Huh? I see. Now, I don't want to impose on you folks anymore tonight, so I'll just find a flea bag motel to stay in. Oh, Mom, can't Mr. Martin stay with us? It'd be great to have a real live adventure in the house. Oh, yeah! Mike? Kids, you remember what I was saying earlier about togetherness? Well, we're a family. And a family is only as strong as the glue that holds that family together. As an architect, I've learned the lesson that a house isn't just made of fake wood paneling, shag carpeting, and formica. And as long as the glue that holds that house together is strong... Excuse me, I'm sorry to interrupt, but pew, doing a flyby here, I'm having a little trouble following you. Really? Well, what I'm saying is, there's always room for one more in the Brady house. Oh, Roy, I insist that you stay here as our guest. You can take my den as long as you need it. Wow. Oh, nice. Thank you. you want me to stay? I can't tell you how much that means to me. Thank you, Mark. Mike. Yeah.